What's up, everybody? We're at Dollywood again for the flower and food festival. Yes, this is the second day. So it's opening weekend, second day of the festival. And it is packed. We just parked at Splash Country. Yeah, we never park here during like the summer, like spring and summer months. Christmas, yes. Yeah. Usually we park at Splash. Never during this time of year. <laughs> this is this is crazy how packed it is today. Yes, it's and Splash is almost full. So, like, they've still got plenty of parking, but it's it's just as crazy as Christmas. Yeah, this is gonna be nuts. It's yeah, elbow to elbow. I can't. I mean, I can't see the wait times for the rides yet, but I imagine. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited to see all the flowers they've put out and try the food. Yes. We did get a food pass. We did get a food pass. Tip number one of the day, just because I'm like suffering so bad right now. <laughs> if you're not from the Smoky Mountain region, and I'm not talking an hour away or an hour and a half away or two hours away. If you're not from the Smoky Mountain region, I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to pretend to be a doctor. Allergy medicine. Yeah. You're going to want it if you're not from around here. We live an hour and a half, two hours away. My sinuses are already, just from last weekend being here, that's when I started getting all congested and stuff. Mm -hmm. My sinuses on the left side of my face right now are just... It hurts. My eyes are watering. My nose is stuffed up. Yeah, and I forgot to take my allergy medicine this morning. <laughs> so, if it gets too bad, if I see some medicine in here somewhere, I might just go ahead and bite the bullet and just get some. Get some because I'm probably going to need it with all these flowers and mm -hmm. smoky mountain pollen. Good pollen. <laughs> and if you're like me, it don't bother me. He says that, but then the past couple of years, he's been like, God, oh, my nose is stuffy. I don't feel good. My throat's scratchy. It's like, yeah, it's but allergies. Usually, but that's later in the year. Yeah, yours is more fall. Mine's like all year long, but spring and fall are my, the worst. But mine do go all yeah. year round. So, and they get worse as I get older. So. Well, we ready to get going? I'm ready. It's so hot. <laughs> it's 80. They say it's 84, but it feels hotter than 84 because there's no clouds and the sun's beaming down on you. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's little puffy clouds. Nothing that's going to do anything. Yep. All right, let's get you at it. You can take one of these I'm into not. the park, too. What? I said, all right, let's get at it. And then you went, oh, yeah. take no, one of these. You can take one of these into the park. You're not allowed to take an outside food or drink into the park, but you're allowed like a snack or something and one bottle of water per yeah. person. So that's going to be needed for today. So. <laughs> all righty, guys. We're, now we're going to get at it. <laughs> Get the flower and food festival merch out. I think I like the yellow. So they've got the flower crowns. They're $7.99. So not too bad. I think I'm going to get one. Jody likes the bags here. 
They get the strap bag at the top. Over this butterfly that I have. In my well, head. there's a way to open. Very pretty. You got your flowers. <laughs> yes. Fairy Princess Club. Jody's opting for the skillet. I'm gonna try it here in a minute. Mm, that looks good. It smells amazing. So when you get in, you can go check in and grab your tasting pass over at the sweet shop. And then you can come and get your food. And I've got the seafood mac and cheese. And Jody got the skillet. Oh, Looking. That's cold. What was it called? It's called the chicken adouille skillet. It looks real good. And so does the mac and cheese. So this is the seafood mac and cheese. Let's try it out. What do you think? Mm. Good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I picked up the raspberry boba and the Korean barbecue nachos. They look really good. They smell good. They do smell good, don't they? Mm -hmm. This is really disappointing. I mean, this is really bad. It's a raspberry boba. You can't taste the raspberry and you can't taste the blueberry bobas at all. And it's $5.50 for this little cup, so save your money. Do not buy this at all. If, you don't, if you're expecting sweet tea, it's not sweet either. It's, it's unsweet, which I like unsweet, but this was just a big disappointment. I would give it like a half a star. The Korean nachos, however, those are those are on point. I'd give them a five star for sure. Yeah, you've almost ate all of them. Oh. I don't want them. <laughs> you said you wanted to try it. Eh, I'm good. I'm saving my appetite for something else. Well, these are good. <laughs> So, I must say in all of the years that we've been coming to Dollywood, even myself with my family, I've never ever seen it this crowded. Like ever. And even if it was, then I just don't remember it. But it's a little, it's a little crowded today. So, um, guys, if you're here today, Saturday, the 23rd, May the force be with you. Wrong park, I know. But, um, yeah, if you plan on coming anytime soon and it's warm out like this, just be prepared. It's hot. You're going to get sweaty. There's kids everywhere. <laughs> There's people everywhere. You're going to get ran over with any kind of stroller, um, wheelchairs, all of it. You're going to get ran over. You're going to be waiting in lines they're doing the best they can the Dollywood staff really is doing the best they can and they're all smiling um, so good job Dollywood I love you guys thank you guys I just found Applejack he's still here there he is thank goodness Applejack is still here at Dollywood pretty cool. I know it's got three sites so you can see currently it is it says it's only 79 in here I don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> my papa used to love these every time I see these they make me think of my papa. I miss him. These rain chains are cheaper here than I've seen them anywhere. What? Yeah, that's 
totally Tabitha. She's only here for the cinnamon bread. She's a cinnamon bread junkie. I know. Tab Tabitha's my sister, by the way. Check out these old wooden games. I had a bunch of these when I was little. Uh, these are pretty cool too. Yeah, I mean, you can make your own balloon animals. Make your own butterfly kite. Oh, it's a mini butterfly kite. Cool. I don't know how well it would work, but pretty cute. Some moon pie candles. Hmm. I've always loved these carved ducks. I really love this one. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So if you're standing here looking at the woodcarver station and you look down, you'll see a tiny mouse staring right at you. disappointing. I was 
hoping for much bigger. Yeah, they're real little. But we're about to see how they taste. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. So it's a Cuban spring roll, like a Cuban sandwich spring roll. This is almost like a spicy mayonnaise is what it tastes like. Like it doesn't taste bad, it's just not what I was expecting. It's good. I wish I got more. <laughs> well, we just got done with the balloon show. Balloon. That's what I said, balloon. Oh, it said like balloon. No, balloon. No. It was interesting. Definitely different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It, yeah. was, it was pretty decent. We did stay for the whole thing because it was hot. Yeah, and that one guy was cracking me up. He'd swing in and be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> How was that again? Whoa. <laughs> Josh is going to try out to be in that show. Oh, yeah. Dollywood win his auditions. <laughs> <laughs> And we've done really good at posting on our Instagram too, so. Yeah. We've been trying to do better. Yep. So we got tons of pictures on there. We got what roller coasters behind us? Uh, Mystery Mine. Mystery Mine. Which is a lot of people's favorite. Yeah. And we just tried those firecrackers too. That's what he said. I call them firecrackers. What were they? <laughs> the Cuban spring rolls. They were good, but they were real little. They were tiny, but I mean, these with these lanyards, you're only getting a little taste. You're not Still. getting a full plate. Still. But surprisingly enough, like I've had that chicken and adouille sausage skillet, and I've had those spring rolls, and for me, I haven't ate very much here lately because we've had so much going on. Um, I'm actually like full, like I'm satisfied. Yeah. And we still got one more meal taste. Yeah, we got one more tasting it. left. Yeah, so. Um, Probably do the chicken wings. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, these foods that we're doing is all throughout the park. So, like Market Square is packed whenever you come in because that's where most of it was last year. Yeah. If I'm remembering correctly. Mm -hmm. um, this year they have done good about spreading the foods for different booths of the park. You just have to walk around and find them. Yeah, but if you're really wanting something that everybody's wanting, expect to be in line for a while. Cause well, I, was, I mean, they're still understaffed. Well, I know. Like, they're still trying to find Like, them. I stood in line for half an hour to get the nachos earlier. Everybody wants the Korean barbecue everything. It's The nachos were killer. That's probably my favorite thing I've had here so far. Yeah, I didn't try them because I'm not big on barbecue anyway. So mm -hmm. I wanted to try the meatballs, but Josh said they only gave you two like tiny meatballs. Yeah, the guy in front of me got, that's what I was originally going to get. Got two little meatballs and then he also got the nachos and it was like a full thing of nachos. So I, that's why I got it. Yeah, um, but my skillet, it was pretty full it's mm -hmm. a good portion um the four little spring rolls was it was okay if i was starving i would definitely need the more but i'm i'm satisfied yeah. like i said so uh i don't really need any more but we got one more thing and Ooh. it helps which we got one i don't know if we've showed it i've showed it on instagram um the little food passport thing yeah grab it out of your Ever? bag have you already showed them oh the passport no i'm yeah. not showed them the passport yet but i have it right here yeah so it's not these are not on the app so if you are expecting to walk around with just your phone and go by your app not on your app you need one of these and like you know it's got 2022 if you're into keeping these kind of things but it introduces you to what's going on here and all of that and then like there's these stickers you can see I've put some of them on but you go through and there's places to put them like for the food booths and the different little topiaries um, like there's the raccoon one we've seen um, and different events like 
or the different shows, I guess. Like, there's what I just ate. That's the spring rolls. Um, yeah, like the entertainment that's special for the festival. You just find your little thing and uh, put your sticker that coordinates with it and you can also check off everything. That way if you don't get it all done the day that you're here, you can bring it back and keep checking off um, everything so you know what you've done and what you haven't. Um, because we're not going to get everything done today. There's no way. No. We're, like, it's almost 4 o'clock right now. And yeah. the park closes at 7, so. We're going to wander around. We're going to get that last meal thing. Is it almost all, 4 o'clock? Yeah. It's almost 5 o'clock. Oh, almost 5 o'clock. So we only have, like, two more hours. There's no way we can get everything else done today. Nope. So we're going to go around, look at some more of the flowers, get the last food item. Yes. And then that probably really... And then we'll be packing it out and going home. Yep. I have plans to come back on Fridays by myself while Josh is at work mm -hmm. and the kids are at school. Um, to try to film by myself. Hopefully those will happen. Yep. <laughs> it just depends on how tired I am and what all is going on at home. Yep. So, um, yeah. So just stay tuned. We got more coming. A whole lot more coming. This year's packed. Other than Dollywood, there's still so much going on on here, and we're going to see it all. And who so, knows? We might catch a cup game. That would be nice. Yep. It's a bucket list item of mine to go to Wrigley Field. Yep, so that might happen this year. We'll see. That would be great. All right, let's get the park. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's crooked. at the Wild Eagle gift shop you can get your Claritin, your Dramamine, Tylenol, Aleve. Batteries, deodorant, sunblock. Yep. Fanny packs. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the tie-dye shirt's pretty nice too. Mm -hmm. I like the one from Mystery Mind better. Man, those look good. They look messy. <laughs> So Jody is not a fan of the wings. But to be fair, I'm not a fan of barbecue that much. You weren't expecting it to have that much sauce, were you? No, because I don't like barbecue sauce. So, um, yeah, it's just a chicken wing with some barbecue sauce on it. That's it. Well, there was a full day. Yeah. Sun drained me. I'm very burnt. Yeah. The sun beat down on us all day. You can kind of tell still coming through the windows. Yeah. It's very, very hot. Very, very crowded. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite food? Mine was the mac and cheese, the seafood. Mine was also the seafood mac and cheese. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the boba, I wouldn't recommend getting it. And the wings. I tried her wings too right after she did. Don't do the wings. Don't do the wings. Hickory House. It's just two plain grilled things with barbecue sauce on it. It's nothing special. No. Those little spring rolls, I called them Cuban spring rolls earlier. The Reuben spring rolls. Those were good even though you don't get a whole lot of those. I tried it and they were pretty good. Yeah. So those were pretty good. Yeah. The chicken and dewey. Skillet was also good, but the seafood mac and cheese this is a whole nother level. Yeah, it's really good. Huge pieces of lobster. Yeah, some shrimp. It was good. Yeah, so next time, whenever I come, I'll try more. Yeah, <laughs> so good. But yeah, that was our day. Yeah, we only got a few things. I got the flower thing. What else did we get? Uh, I got a t shirt real mm -hmm. quick. Simple, cute little t-shirt. I got a pin that I've wanted since I was five years old. Look at that. <laughs> and then we got the baby. We showed it in our last Dollywood video. Yep. My first theme park was Dollywood. <laughs> so, um, I might put his name 
back here with my cricket. Cricket. Put Oliver up there in case you didn't know. Yep. Little Robert Oliver. Little Oliver. He's gonna go by Oliver. Um, so he'll be here during. I don't know if we'll get to bring him for fall. But he'll be here for Christmas. Definitely we'll bring him for Christmas because, you know, babies and Christmas lights and... Yeah. It'll be fun. So... Well... Yeah. I'm burning up. Let's go get something to drink and let's hit the road. Yeah. Because I'm, so I'm getting up at 3 a.m. and coming back to the Smokies for a sunrise. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Yes. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to share and like and subscribe. I mean, it's free. It's free. Also, quick shout out. Miss Brenda that works at the Till and Harvest Food Hall and Wildwood Grove. Go by and see her. She is so funny. She has harassed me two two, two weekends, weekends in a row. row. She has harassed him. <laughs> but she's so funny. So kind. She'll make you smile. So yeah. go by and see her. Alrighty. Bye guys.